Hey, welcome and welcome back to my channel. My name is Ronald and this is my software journal. I'm a self-taught developer and software engineer. And for the next couple of months, I'll be getting into my data structures and algorithms. I have a fame prospect and possibly more in a way I'm preparing for. If you want to join this journey, subscribe to the fam. Without further ado, let's get into it. I didn't do it. There it is, I like that one. I've been on my lead code grind lately and I think a lot of people don't get lead code the needed props that it really does. I haven't been on there long enough to say there's any problems. Come look at this. Look at this. Roam, roam, roam. Just roam. Because I haven't been coding in Java in a while, I'm gonna go start my journey back at the basic data structure of the mall, arrays. Let's get into the first problem of this series. Maximus continuous singularities. <coughs> Excuse me. I meant to say maximum consecutive ones. Fancy talk. Let's read the prompt of this problem. Given a binary array, find the maximum number of consecutive ones in this array. First example right here, which is the given input. You have an array that has nothing but ones and zero, which is a binary. As you can see, you have two ones right here and you have a zero and you have three ones right here. And the output should be three. Some notes here, you know, the input of the array is binary, so it should only contain zeros and ones. The length of the array is a positive integer and will not exceed 10,000. All right, so we have a little hint here. We're gonna read it ahead of time because we wanna get as much information on this problem. You need to think about two things as far as any window is concerned. All right, cool. One is starting the window. Okay, we start it. Then when to detect when new ones has started. All right, keep that in mind. The next part is detecting the endpoint of this window. How do you detect the endpoint for the existing window? If you figure these two things out, you will be able to detect the windows or the consecutive ones. All that remains afterward is to find the longest such window and return that size. So my first step to this problem is, I know I'm gonna to need to iterate over every single element of this array. So more likely on any of for loop. To whether it's traditional or for each, not sure yet, but I'm just gonna add a little for loop text here. All right, so for my second step, I need to figure out a window in which the real ones, because we need to figure out the real ones come into our window. We need to start counting these ones when they start coming into the window and figure out when that happens. So I'm gonna do a if statement here. And I'm gonna specify noms for right now equal to one. Third step for this particular problem, I'm figure out how I'm gonna hold the maximum number of ones that we counted consecutively and how I'm gonna be counting those ones as well. So I think I need two variables for this one. So one variable right before the for loop called int max, and another variable called int count. I'm gonna initialize this int count because definitely gonna be using it later. So I'm thinking that I'm just gonna be doing a for each for this for loop. So I'm just gonna do int num and then for each element in noms, I'm gonna give it a num. That's good, that's pretty, all right? So every time when it's in this window, we wanna do a count. And then also to determine if the count is greater than the max that's currently being held. We need to do a max, if max is less than counter, then we want to make max equal to count. And I also forgot to initialize my max here. So just to make it initialize. All right, so we have that part so far. Now I need to figure out what happens when those zeros come, try to come into our, our window. So when that happens, we need to reset that count because then it's not consecutively counting the ones. It should be an else statement because it's only gonna be one and zeros in this array. And we're gonna reset the count 
back to zero here. I think we're pretty much on the track of being finished with this. All right, so it's gonna loop through it, all those things. Every time consecutive one, it's gonna start counting. Whenever the max is less than the count, let's reset that value of that max to the present high count. And then when it hits the zeros, it's gonna reset that count and start counting over again when another window of ones come in. And then finally, when it ends that loop, and it goes through all the elements and we found all the maximum consecutive ones in there. Then we want to also return the max. So that should be it. Before we submit this, of course we got to get some B-roll in there. So run the B-roll. So the time complexity of this particular code is O of N and the reason behind that is because it's looping through the array N times for each and every element that's in there. And the space complexity is O of 1 is because we didn't allocate any arrays to you know, store any information. So it looks good. I hope you guys enjoyed that video. I plan on putting it out more in this series and just like my continuous progress of learning the data structures and algorithms I need to learn for these tech interviews. Be on the lookout for that. And if you guys wanna stay updated, hey, subscribe to this channel. You know, if you like this content, give it a like and comment down below on, you know, what's the improved solution for this particular problem and let me know so also in the link below you'll find where the solution is on my github so i plan on you know describing on all these solutions that i do for all these problems and it's because i like to explain what i do until next time peace mm -hmm.